In this video, I'll show you a complete guide on how to make guts in Elden Ring. This video took a long while, so I'd really appreciate if you'd like and subscribe. There's a lot to do, so let's get right into it. We start with the character creation, of course. Once we enter Limpgrave, we have a few things on our checklist. First is Torrent. On the way, we grab the smithing stone and afterwards head up to Stormhill Shack, where we grab the golden seed. On our way to Alexander, we let a troll break the statue for another five smithing stones one and our first smithing stone two. Once Alexander is freed, we grab another pair of smithing stones on this bridge and make our way to Caled, where we check off the second thing of our list, the great sword. But we can't wield it yet, so we TP to the gate from Kreis. From there, we will kill Kenneth Hate for his golden seed and grab the Wondrous Physics as well as our first sacred tier. We use the teleporter to Gorang and grab the golden seed on the way to Linus Rise. Here, we will farm a couple of runes with this ball until we're able to wield the sword. Back at the third church of America, we go south, grabbing the spike crack tier and the golden seed in front of Fort Haight, where we collect the first piece of the Dectus medallion. We teleport to the church of Eller, talk to Rani for the summoning bell, and ask Kale about the howling in Mistwood. Before we return to Fort Haight, we visit the nomadic merchant on the beach and buy two smithing stones off of him. Back at the fort, we travel to the Mistwood Ruins, snap and talk to Blythe, and collect the smithing stone too in this chest. Now we teleport to the Aegir Lake North Craze and head south again, to this time help Blythe in his battle with Daryl. Once that is done, talk to Blythe outside until he mentions EG and then go further south. We find three smithing stones one on this bridge and another smithing stone two right here. From this craze, go south to get a golden seed and then make your way to the Kelu Baptismal Church for another sacred tier. Get the craze nearby and go down this way and over the bridge to the Church of Pilgrimage and the 4th Church of America for another two sacred tiers. TP back to Stormhold Shack and follow this way to Leonia of the Lakes. Before we enter the lake itself, grab another sacred tier in the church of Erith. First, you want to grab these three smithing stones free and then grab this golden seed. Close by is another stack of smithing stones too, the next one is here. And before we grab the last one, we activate this craze and steal the key to the academy behind Smerak. Now follow this route to get the missing nine smithing stones free and we then want to get the smithing stones four. And the first one is right where you drop down a final time in the lakeside crystal cave. For the next aid, teleport to the Rockview balcony and go to Gale Tunnel, talking to Alexander's optional. Lastly, TP to the Kaled runes and go to the south end of Aeonia Swamp. Here you'll find the missing three smithing stones and a bit further south is another golden seed. And once we have that, we go north to Celia. There you want to grab the golden seed and uncover the Celia secret to then go up this hill until you reach the Church of Plague for another sacred tier. We finally go to Round Table Hold and upgrade our sword to plus 12 by Hugh. We return to Lannis Rise to go up the Spirit Spring and fight the Patriot Avatar for the Stone Buff Crack Tier. We'll use it together with the Spike Crack Tier in our Wondrous Physic to make stance breaks unavoidable. If you're having issues, just use the Spirit Spring behind the Minor Earth Tree and farm Krayo for a while. This is where we want to go now anyways to collect the second part of the Dectus Medallion. We teleport to the smoldering walls because we want to grab the strength talisman and the lion's claw ash of war in Fort Gale. We return once again to the third church of America and use the elevator to Siofra River. Here you'll want to buy the Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 17 to craft an oil pot for Alexander's quest later on. We continue and harvest another golden seed before using two stone sword keys enabling this elevator. 
At the top, we visit the Great Jar and fight his three champions to receive the Great Jar's arsenal talisman. We now make our way to EG and tell him about Blythe so we can buy the Carrion Filigree Crest Talisman. We return to Raya Lucaria and use the key to get to the main gate, where you can get another golden seed in the northeast. Then use the key again at the northeastern sigil and make your way to Bellum Church for a sacred tier. Head down for a golden seed and a smith Kingston 5. Then teleport back to the church and make your way to the Dector's Lift Craze. Before we use the lift, we want to go to the Church of Inhibition and collect yet another sacred tier. Now we return and use the Grand Lift of Dector's. On the Altar's Plateau, make your way to the Erdtree Gazing Hill and then north to collect the Golden Seed. Use the teleporter on the bridge and collect the Village Craze. We will be collecting another Golden Seed and Sacred Tier before teleporting back. Make your way down and collect the golden seed on the way to the altar's tunnel, where you'll want to collect 6 smithing stones 5. Now make your way to the Celia Crystal Tunnel and collect the missing smithing stone 5. Back at Eto's highway junction we grab yet another sacred tier and go to the earth tree gazing hill. We only go to Windham Ruins for the golden seed close by before returning to the spirit springs to go up Mount Galmir where you need to fight the full chrome falling star beast for 5 smithing stone 6. When you're done, hop over this cliff and get another golden seed. You'll find another falling star beast close to Altus Highway Junction on the south of the stairs that lead into the city. Then pass the two tree sentinels and grab the three golden seeds in the area. When you have them, go to this here tunnel, which has three illusionary walls. Don't know what's up with that Miyazaki. And make the Iron Maiden destroy the statue for another free smithing stone 6. Now we can upgrade our sword to plus 18 and have 12 plus 10 healing. So we can put it to the test and fight market. In Stormlake Castle, try to complete Rodrigo's quest for another golden seed. I don't know why, but it bugged out for me. But there's another golden seed before Godric's boss room, and then you can whoop Godric's multiple hands as well. Return to Aeonia's warm shore, link yourself to the teleporter next to this tower, and don't forget to talk to Alexander before fighting Rodan as well. After you finish Rodan, don't forget to talk to Alexander before you continue. Now that we have two great runes, we go and fight the Draconic Tree Sentinel to enter the capital. Just make your way through and don't forget the Golden Seed on the way to Godfrey's Spirit. With him out the way, we finally arrive at the Earth Tree and fight against Morgoth. I think you can safely say this was a tough fight for me. Now we wanna grab the Halic Tree Medallion in the Urban Oryx Village and reactivate Morgoth's Great Room before going to the Forbidden Lands. In front of the Grand Lift is a Golden Seed and guarded by a Golem next to the Frozen Lake is another Golden Seed. From here we head to Cass's Hole to fight Commander Nile and get the second part of the Halic Tree Medallion. We return to the Grand Lift and use the medallion and in a snowstorm you can find a golden seed next to this tree and another one close to our dinner. Once you have them, go to the inner consecrated snowfield and change the time to night. You'll find a pair of Knight's Cavalry to the east and you can easily separate them from each other and fight one at a time. If you defeat them, you'll get their armor which is the most representative for God's Berserker armor. We return to the frozen lake and collect a sacred tear in the first church of America and the church of repose as well. We grab a golden seed close to the fire giant's boss room and teleport to Leonia to free Alexander once again, but this time with the oil pot. His next location is close to the Windham ruins, through the cliff and at this magma pool, where you have to fight this worm to talk to Alexander in peace. Exhaust Alexander's dialogue and find the minor earth tree of the snowy mountain tops, so we can replace the spike crack tier with the crimson bubble tier. There's nothing else we can do, so we fight the fire giant, burn the earth tree, 
and make our way through Faro Missoula and fight the Godskin duo. I use Bernard's help, alternatively you can do it alone or with sleeping pots or something else. We bring the bell bearing to the twin maiden husk in the round table hold and buy the missing smithing stone 7 and 8 as well as 2 stone sword keys. Then upgrade your weapon to the maximum of plus 25 and return to the dragon temple altar and follow this route to find the golden seed and Alexander's last location. Fight Alexander and get his shot as a talisman. I was missing a golden seed because Rodrigo's quest bugged, so I teleported to the outer wall phantom tree and fought a tree spirit in the southwestern camp. With max healing and weapon, face off Malekith and show him who of the two of you is guts from berserk at home. With the capital turned to ash, teleport to the Forbidden Lands and enter the capital this way to get the Erdtree's favor plus two talisman. We then fight Gideon, Hualu and Radagon and the Elven Beast in a boss rush manner. Now we have everything in our possession. Heavy Greatsword plus 25, Knight's Cavalry Armor, Great Jars Arsenal, Carrion Filigreed Crest, Shard of Alexander and Erdtree's favor plus two. Alternatively, you can get the Pulley Crossbow next to the Craftman's Shack on Mount Galmir, the Jar Cannon at the end of the Volcano Cave also on Mount Galmir, as well as the Blessing of the Erdtree in the Queen's Bedchamber, Golden Vow at the Corpse Den Shack and Flame Crowned Me Strength behind Fort Gale. I used to train Communion Seal that can be found in a French folk hero's grave just because the look is fitting. A rune level 150 character should then have 40 vigor, 60 mind, 40 endurance, 60 strength, 16 dex, 9 intelligence, 38 faith and 10 arcane. That's it with this video, I hope you enjoyed it and that this video could help you. Check out my Twitch, I'll start the DLC there with this build. I hope to see you there, dear tarnished.